to Grandma Dr's kitchen. I got a good one for you today. I'm going to do uh, crock pot hot wings. Okay? It's just hot wings, as uh, wings in the crock pot. All right. So what we're gonna do? What I did was, you need about three to four pounds of wings, and I season them with this seasoning, this, and and I put a little paprika on it, and then I put some uh, onion salt, onion powder, onion powder. Okay, and I marinated them and overnight, but you can marinate them two hours. Okay, and for the sauce, it's very simple. You, I need a, a bottle of chili sauce, and you know, chili sauce is just um, ketchup that, that's been kicked up a notch. And then this is four tablespoons of hot sauce. That's all. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set this aside. And um, we're going to get our broiler. And we're going to um, put the hot wings on the broiler for 10 minutes so they can brown. And then we're going to transport them over in here. And let them cook in, in the crock pot for um, two and a half hours. But if, you, if you're going to be at work, it's five hours. Because they're small, it don't have to be, um, but, okay. So we're going to just lay them on the broiler, and we're going to put them under the broiler for 10 minutes. Not very long. We just want them to brown, okay. We just want them to be brown, okay. All right. Because, see, in the crock pot, they won't be brown. You know what I mean? And so we want them brown. We want that, we want that brown skin on them. So we, we're gonna just put them in the broiler. This is a broiler pan. It comes with the with the oven. So if you don't have one of these, just use a regular pan and put it in the in, in the broiler. You know. But this my mine happen to have its own broiler. So you put it on a cold broiler for ten minutes. All we want to do is just make so it, they brown. All right. So the, the, my broiler holds about this. This is about four pounds. This is about four pounds of a uh, wings. Okay. So let's put the put it. show you what it looks like. We're only going to leave it in there 10 minutes. Okay? We'll check it in 5 minutes and we'll turn it over. Okay? Welcome back. Now see we're going to flip them over. See they see how they steaming? They see the see the brown, see the brown. So you um just flip them over and let them brown 5 more minutes on this side and then we're going to transport them into this crock pot, okay? So I'll be back. And I'll show you what it looks like. We're moving right along. Welcome back. Now you see, we're going to transport it over in here. All right. Now, we're going to make a blue cheese sauce to go with this, but we'll, I'll be back 
and um, make the sauce a little later because it has to chill in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. But for now, what we're going to do is, all right, we're going to mix this together. Okay. It's easy and simple. All right. Let's mix it together. And we're going to pour it over the over the, the uh, Now this is one bottle of that chili sauce, okay? All right. And then I'm gonna cook, put, cook it on high. I'm gonna um, rinse this out and I'm gonna pour it, and then I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna cook it on high. But if you cook it on low, you gotta cook it for five hours. I'm gonna cook it for two and a half hours, okay? All right. And I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. Welcome back. Now we're going to make our blue cheese dressing for the hot wings. We got our hot wings in the crock pot. And we're going to make the blue. Now you can, um, this is a cup full of Sour cream, see? All right, this is sour cream. This is three fourths cup of mayo, mayonnaise. This is mayonnaise. You can use any kind of mayonnaise. Okay. All right. This is one clove of garlic. You know I love garlic. Garlic kicks it up a notch. This is a uh, one tablespoon of white vinegar. Okay? White vinegar, okay? This is one tablespoon of fresh lemon. Okay? This is uh, three tablespoons of fresh parsley. Okay? And this is a half a cup, see, a half a cup of blue cheese, all right? So what we're going to do is whisp it up real good. See, look. All right. See the chunks of blue cheese in there? And the fresh parsley. Let me move this out of the way so you can see really good. See, look. The blue cheese and the fresh parsley. All right. It's going to give it that great, great taste. And we're going to put this in, a, in, in the... Um, in a different bowl and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for two hours. So by the time our hot wings are ready, this will be ready. It needs to chill in the refrigerator, remember, okay? Chill it before you serve, okay? And there you have it. Now you can add salt and pepper to the taste if you want some salt and pepper on it. Make to your taste, all right? But let's, let me taste it. Oh, it's good. It's real good. Now, we all we gotta do is just chill it. Make sure you let it chill. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. And I'll be back.
Welcome to Grandma Doctor's Tea Time. With great love and respect, I greet you in the name of Jesus. I really appreciate you allowing me to come into your homes for tea time. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his consciousness upon you and give you peace, his peace today. Today, I decree it to be so in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. We're still talking about home life matters because it is very important that we start to uh, invite God into our homes and act like he's our roommate he, because he's our boss, he's our Lord, he's our king, he's our everything. And yes, he, he want to live with you 24-7. 24-7, not just uh, when we go to church. And I'm not saying we shouldn't go to church. We, yes, we should go to church. But we should practice the presence of the Lord always. And that means in our homes. You know, and so if we practice the presence of the Lord in our homes all the time, then we will get rid of a, a lot of our filthy mouths because if God was standing, if you knew God was standing right in front of you, you wouldn't say EMF words and curse people out and do all that. You know what I mean? So that's what we want to practice. We want to practice the presence of the Lord like Adam and Eve had when they was in the garden before the fall. They had a connection with God 24-7. And that's what we want. We want that we want that back. And Jesus came, one of the reasons why he came also is to restore the kingdom of God. And so, uh, not just so that we can be born again and have fire insurance so that we won't go to hell. But no, he wants us to bring heaven to earth. And he wants, he wants because it said in, in, in the Lord's Prayer, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. That's what he wants us to do. Who's going to do that? We're going to do that. And we're going to do that in our homes. We're going to do that in, on our jobs. We're going to do that at church also. All right. So I'm teaching from uh, my book, Peace Is. It's a 31-day journal. And guess what? We're on day number 27. What, isn't that wonderful? We're coming right along. We only got a few more uh, days to go, and we will, be, we will have finished it. And we started at day one. So I really, really appreciate everyone that stuck with me all this time. You know, so the lesson for today is peace is love. All right. And so uh, the, 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 the um, that's the title of the lesson. So the body of the lesson says we must choose to love. OK. Uh, the, the, the Lord says in Deuteronomy 6, 5, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy might. So if we love the Lord, our, if we love God, with that, we, we, will, we will know that he's want to be with us 24-7. He wants to be with us 24-7. Okay? And we think love is a field. I get these goosebumps. No, love is a choice. You choose. You, 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 you choose to love. Yes. Love is a choice. You know? And when I was uh, in, in uh, when I was in Chicago, when I left Mississippi, when I was 16 years old, I went to uh, my mom told me I was I was grown, and she let me go to Chicago to live with my aunts, and I had an aunt named Auntie Maddie, and uh, I went to live with a, a, a Pearl, but uh, she lived in the projects, and she couldn't I couldn't stay there very long, so I, I lived there. I could only stay there 30 days, so I had to go to live with aunt, aunt, aunt Maddie because Aunt Maddie had her own home and everything, so I went to live with Aunt Maddie. And so I was uh, uh, was going to, um, I was young, I was 16, I just wanted to uh, see the bright lights and, and all that kind of stuff and have fun and, and date different guys. And um, uh, I was dating two guys. And Aunt Maddie told me, she said, uh, listen, it, that's not cute. She said, um, and so uh, she said, choose, choose. You choose. You choose the one. And she helped me choose the one. And I, I listened to her. I'm happy I listened to her. And so, uh, but she, and she told me, she said, I said, 
Well, suppose I don't love it. Suppose I want to wait to see that I love it. She said, love is a choice. It's a decision that you make. You make a decision. This man is nice. He was, he was 10 years old with me. She said, this man is nice. He loves you. Because I, I could cook, see. And I was from Mississippi. And he, a, and he was from Mississippi, but he had moved to Chicago. I didn't meet him when I was uh, uh, in, in Mississippi. But he, and so he met he 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 he, uh, he wanted me. So she said, this man loves you. This man can take care of you. Love is a choice. It's not a feeling. <laughs> so I never will forget that. And that's true. You choose. She said, you choose. And, I, and, and I'm happy that I did. Okay? And, and so... Uh, so love, you choose to love. Not it's, it's not goosebumps. It's not uh, uh, you know uh, uh, when, I, when I get around you, I feel like no, no, no. That 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 could be lust. It don't have to be love. So I learned that from Auntie Maddie. And so we must learn to love. That's what Auntie Maddie taught me. She said uh, it must be a way of life for us. You hear that? We must learn to love. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. The proof of love is, is the desire to give. You hear that? Because Jesus, God loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son to die for us. He gave. He gave. So that, that's, that's our model to go by. You know what I mean? It's not feeling, feeling goosey, goosey, goosey. It's our, that's our model to go by. Okay. And that's in John 3, 16. Okay? Love pursues. Okay? And that's that's how uh, Aunt Maddie knew that Leroy uh, was, was in love with me because he was pursuing me. And he would talk to her and they became friends. You know what I mean? Love protects. And that's in uh, Isaiah uh, 118. Okay? All right? Love provides. All right? Okay? That's in Genesis 22, 8. Love does not fear. That's John 1, 4, 18. So don't be afraid that, oh, I, I, may, I may not like her. I might, you know, you, 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 you communicate. Love communicates. And y'all talk about your feelings. Y'all talk about uh, how, uh, what you like and what, you know, because a lot of people don't know nothing about it. You, you, even if you, if you, even if you get, even if you've been dating them for two or three years, you don't know that much about it because you don't talk, you don't communicate, you don't talk about your feelings, you don't talk about your plan, you don't talk about your ups and downs. You know what I mean? So love communicates, okay? Uh, love does not manipulate another. Love does not decide to conduct and and um, love does not decide by the conduct of and the behavior of others. You look at other people who oh, I want to be like that. No, no, you are you. You are the greatest person. You are, listen, everybody that's born on earth is great. You are great. You have greatness inside of you, but you just have not tapped into it. You just as great as anybody else, and you, yes, you have gifts and talents. You have gifts and talents. You have a talent in you that nobody else has. That's why every single person on earth has a different fingerprint. Because everybody have a different talent. But everybody got a talent. Everybody, that's like everybody have a different fingerprint. Everybody got a fingerprint. Everybody got a talent. So it's just, we just don't know how to tap into it. We don't know how to uh, uh, find out what our talents is. And so we... Um, we, 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 we abuse ourselves by not uh, being uh, aware of, and, and we have to have that relationship with God because God gave it to us. That's how we have to have, and he'll let us know what our talent is. That's how, that's how we, we would know, okay? Uh, love uh, does not, um, there, no, okay, say these are just a few of the list of things, and this goes on and on and on, okay? Start now and see the blessings flow in your life. Okay, we got, we have to practice. We have to not just be hearers of the word, we have to practice. And then once you know better, sometimes you don't know. So once you know better, then you do better. The, this was, that was just one, a small list, because I don't want to, uh, you know, I, I can't even exhaust the list. But those are the things that, think about it. And let's do that. If we just do that, God will honor us. 
and God will bless us. Okay? All right? Thanks for having tea time with Grandma Dot. And see you next time. Welcome back. So our wings have been cooking for two and a half hours on high. Okay? All right. So we're going to serve them. So this is the way you're going to, this is our fresh sauce, okay, all right, our dipping sauce right there, that's blue cheese, okay, all right. Okay, and see we met, I, I, I had a, a vegetable tray to go right here also with it. All right, and this, you just buy these in the store. And see, you just, there's a dipping sauce right here. Yes, very good, very good. This is hot, so. Let me get a plate and taste it. I'm going to, it's, it's hot, so. And you can use ranch dressing if you want to. Oh yeah, babe. Delicious. Oh yes. Very good. The sauce is fresh. That parsley and that lemon makes it very fresh. Yes, absolutely delicious. Yes. Mm. Very good, very good. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah. That sauce is excellent. Remember, I have a cookbook. Lots of Mississippi Soul Food. If you order one, I will autograph it and I'll give you a, a free gift from me. Oh, um, I need some subscribers. So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your co workers to subscribe to Grandma Dot's Kitchen, okay? My goal is to get 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, by New Year's, okay? So I need your help, we can do it, because I have a 58,000 already. So we can do it, we can, we can reach the goal, okay? So help a sister out, okay? All right? And I have my autobi autobiography, we still have some more. So it's um, $14.95, we, it's still $3 off. We're gonna keep them to $3 off until we sell out, okay? So I'll autograph it and I'll send it back to you by return mail also. Uh, you, it's, it's on um, eBay.
So just order it. I'll ship it right back out to you. Okay. And the book I'm teaching from is Peace Is. It's a 31-day journal. You can use it over and over. I go over it over and all the time. Okay. It's a $9.95. I'll autograph it also, and I'll send it back to you by return mail. All right. And we're going to start doing, after we do all our special requests, we're going to start our holiday series. Uh, so uh, we, uh, this is a special request here we have. So you know, everybody know their name. I have my list of special requests. So we're going to get to all the special requests. So be on the lookout for your request because you know what you requested. And then let me know that you saw it and let me know how you like it. Okay, this today was a special request. All right. Happy eating to you.